The unique, the weird and the wonderful were on display and up for sale as stallholders from Dunedin and out of town peddled their wares at the Thieves Alley Market Day. Like for retired people, you hang up your boots, you know, so... As well, there was a petting zoo with some unusual residents. I'm Roselle Lavone, hanging out at the 2018 Thieves Alley Market, where things have gone just a bit alpaca shaped. It was standing room only in the central city as thousands of pedestrians scrambled for a bargain. And um, we are members of the Red Hat Society, which is all over the world, and it's for women who want to go out and have fun, dress up and do exactly as they please. There's nothing quite like the event in Dunedin in the rest of the year, with live entertainment, stalls and rides, it spans the octagon down to Stewart and Bar Streets with roads closed off for the biggest market day on Dunedin's calendar. Some familiar faces were seen in the crowd, including Health Minister David Clark. And giving away balloons is one of the easiest jobs in politics, I love it. Not to be outdone, National also made a cameo appearance. After a busy few weeks on fire and flood duty, Firefighters took time to raise funds for the Sky Tower Challenge. It's not the end of it all. It's uh, you know we're looking for another dry period in February, um, and uh, as a result, uh, they'll be on their guard again. Life Education Trust and Dog Rescue Dunedin joined in on the festivities and took the chance to spread the word about their new initiatives for 2018. And they asked if I'd bring Ollie down as a handler. So um, as you can see, he's getting lots of attention to that. About 30,000 people turned up annually for the event, leaving a big clean-up for the Dunedin City Council. Roselle Le Bone, The South Today.